Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and this is a good gently yin yoga class focused on stretching your hips. If your hips feel sore or tight, this should provide some relief for you. We start by coming into a butterfly fold, bring your legs in front of you, soles of the feet come together with the knees apart. So you decide how much distance you want between your heels and the groin, play around and just see what feels best to you. And then fold forward. Always remember we want this to be passive in yin. Relax your arms and palms can face up so you're not tempted to push or pull with the hands. Let gravity do the work and soften into the pose. Head is heavy, chin to chest. Take deep breaths into your hips and low back. To come out, use only arm strength, push into the ground, slowly unwinding inch by inch. And you may bring your knees in towards you with your hands. And next we're going to lower all the way down on our back. From here, cross your right ankle over your left knee, right foot is flexed. If you feel a stretch in your right hip here, stay in this first option. Or you can reach through with your arms for reclined pigeon pose, pulling your left knee in towards your chest. So there's a little bit of engagement in the arms required here, but really try to relax everything else. So only the arms are working a little bit. And the rest of the body is relaxed, even the muscles around your eyes, 
your neck and jaw. Let everything go. Slow, deep breaths in and out through the nose. to the floor staying in this position just let the sole of the right foot drop all the way to the floor you can let the knee fall into the chest so that you feel a stretch in your right hip again don't go too far remember that we want to stay at about a five on a scale of one to ten in level of intensity you can gently hold on to your ankle with your left hand Right arm can go out to the right side, bending at 90 degree or straight. will repeat the sequence on the other side so come back to center with your legs feet on the floor this time crossing your left ankle over your right thigh left foot is flexed maybe staying here if this is enough or reaching out with your arms to hold on to the thigh or the shin gently pull in towards you 
and relax the arms as much as possible. If your mind starts wandering, always just bring your focus back on your breath, watching your belly rise and fall. Let's release the right foot back down to the mat, stay as you are and let the left sole of the foot drift down to the floor, allowing the knee to fall into your body. Maybe holding onto the right ankle with your right hand, left arm can go out to the side for some extra opening in your chest. So the left shoulder should also be on your mat. Slow down your breathing, let it get really heavy and deep. Let's release this pose. Coming right away into our final resting position, Shavasana. So stretch out and take up lots of space. Feel into your hips to integrate the work you've done. Surrender and let go. This is where I will leave you. I encourage you to stay as long as time allows. When you choose to come out, remember to do so mindfully, pulling the knees into the chest, rolling to your right side and pressing yourself up. I hope you enjoyed this class. 
If you did, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with anyone who could need a little bit of yin in their lives. Practice again with you soon. Namaste.